Hey folks, Jonathan again here. Uh, wanted to do a little video on this Top Kick Chevrolet I've got. Uh, this is a 94 model. It's a low pro. Uh, good truck, got aluminum bed on it, which I don't care for an aluminum bed, but that's what I had, so that's what I put on it. I bought this as a dump truck, and uh, the back springs is, is about wore out on it. The guy hauled, overloaded it quite often, and he actually sold it to me, and part of the payment I uh, I paid for him to uh, the DOT for overweight tickets so he wouldn't lose his driver's license so uh, you know I got the truck at a pretty good deal but of course unfortunately this was a 3116 Caterpillar truck and I'd always heard horror stories about him I'd never owned any but uh, this of course was my first one and I, we it was a five speed I you know we drove it for quite a while it had 230,000 miles on it when I uh, started having some trouble with it that I didn't like and so I decided to uh, to solve the problem and uh, in a little different way but I'm gonna open the hood up here and show you a few things about this truck that's uh, different than any other top kick that's out there okay uh, if you notice under the hood you'll still see a couple of yellow parts uh, which is caterpillar parts, but uh, the uh, the actual engine is a DT-466. Which they never put in this truck. And uh, you can see it's, you know, recessed back in pretty good ways. This engine was six inches longer than the... Uh, the caterpillar that was in it and uh, I'm using the original radiator and uh, I've got the original air cleaner on it uh, back in place where it's supposed to be and uh, made a lot of brackets made uh, the engine mounts actually bolted a cross member in the front and uh, this engine came out of a bus an international one of the stub nose buses, I think it was a Thomas bus, I'm, I believe, but... What I did to do this was uh, I actually unbolted the cab and raised the front of the cab up about four inches while I was doing the work. And, uh, and like I said, this engine's six inches longer. And we had to do a little bit of, little bit of fabrication on the floor, but not as bad as you would think. Uh, lowered the engine down, and the brackets that bolt on the side of the uh, the bell housing that go to the frame mounts, I made them brackets. And what I did was I made them to the height that I needed this engine, you know, to be to get in here. And uh, as you can see, just like with the, with the oil dipstick there. Uh, how close it is to the floor now. I don't touch, but it's it's really close uh, You know, so you're, you're trying to put a 10 pounds of flour in a five pound bag basically and uh, You know all this bracket was fabricated Because the I actually went from a five-speed to an Allison which was a this is a 643 Allison and They only put this on air brake trucks big trucks this transmission, uh, you know, in big buses, uh, 33,000 GBW, and so this is this truck's only like, you know, 18,000 GBW. So they never came with a transmission this size. So, it, you know, it's it's rated for up to 78,000 GBW the transmission. So this thing should last for about as long as we need it anyway. But uh, you know, I had to run. There's no vacuum, of course, on these engines, and and the only way that you can shift these Allisons is mechanically and you know to get your shift points instead of a, a, a modulator valve so you know all these brackets had to be fabricated and, and made to uh to be able to run it and uh like i said i just ran the uh the original throttle cable and that's the original bracket made all this and hooked up my hooked up my uh, linkages and then uh power steering pump i used the original uh international power steering pump mounted on the engine i just you know made the hoses and ran them to the to the steering gear box and the uh you know the the reservoir and everything uh 
I will let me see show you the other side okay on this side I made the bracket to mount the, uh, the air cleaner I wanted the original GM air cleaner that way when you bought it you could uh, you know buy the right part for the right year truck and of course with the 3116 but I mean it would still go in it and uh, of course you can see I got some duct tape around this but it's held up fine this is just the air intake and I've got it running to the original spot just like it was I think this was a little different length and that's why I've done that but uh, but it's worked good a uh, few little things we're, we're going to take care of on it now I have uh, or, or my drivers actually put 120,000 miles on this truck since uh, since we put this engine in and uh, we've got a little oil leak back in there and we're going to take care of that problem and uh, we've got I noticed that the hose is kinked here and it looks like it's seeping a little bit so we're going to take care of that problem but like I said it's been 120,000 miles and we've really not had to do anything to this truck whatsoever uh, exhaust uh, you may be able to see in there where I had to fabricate the pipe coming off the turbo and I actually fabricated it in and went into the original uh, 3116 pipe and you can see the air cleaner coming from the turbo into the air cleaner I had to fabricate that uh, I'm sure there's some other stuff here that I'm probably missing okay down here to get to my radiator size that I to run the uh, the original radiator hose because I wanted to keep the original Caterpillar 3116 hose I actually uh, had to make make all these pieces to, to run onto the, the water neck for the bottom uh, the fan sits way lower uh, than the original fan so we just cut out the bottom of the of the uh, uh, fan shroud and got that taken care of and let me show you up underneath now it may be dark and you may may or may not be able to see this but uh, we added this fuel tank on on this side right here and you know there's a bar that goes across with a with a line in it that ties the two tanks together and uh, that bar I had to move back to clear that transmission pan on that Allison I mean you can see that's a that Allison's a monster it's a big transmission and like I said they didn't meant or mean to put these in smaller trucks like this but you can see my rear drive shaft or my front drive shaft I'm sorry is uh you know a total I think about eight inches long uh, a little short but uh gives no problem at all uh, you know I just basically made the front drive shaft and tied it right back into the the rest of the original shafts uh, you know everything is is done right and you know done good and I've got pictures I'll put on this thing on the uh, video too you'll be able to see some of the pictures of of when we done the job and uh, it was uh, me and a, a boy that I had that uh, work, you know used to work for me that helped me out on this and uh, I'll show you the inside here okay on the inside uh, you can see the hole used to be in the floor here and we put a piece of steel over it and then of course covered it with with carpet and put it inside the rubber uh, I found another top kick that was a factory automatic and actually put this uh, automatic shifter in here and uh, you know so it's all totally factory or looks factory and uh, what I did on the all the gauges uh, the oil pressure gauge the voltmeter the tack uh, the temperature gauge speedometer works I actually found the right stuff for this uh, transmission to be able to run the electronic speedometer and uh, I I believe I spent about fifty dollars just on brass fittings to be able to hook up all of the original sending units off of the 3116 to run on this engine and uh, by the time I was done buying them anyway and uh, so all the original harness and you can see some of them them actual uh, these actual sending units and this is not all of them there's more on this thing but they're all uh, the original Caterpillar sending units or GM for Caterpillar and uh, we was able to use them so if you didn't know better when you get in this truck and drive it uh, you would think that it was a you know a factory original uh, engine truck because I don't have I didn't add any special gauges on or you know anything like that it just works just like it would originally 
and uh, a lot of fabrication, a lot of work. I think we, you know, ended up taking about a week to get this done, and I actually bought this engine and transmission uh, out of the bus off the guy for seven hundred dollars, and uh, and I, he was let me bring, you know, tow the bus here, take all the the parts out and stuff, and then I just took the bus back to him because he used it for storage, but. Uh, you know, a heck of a deal. Uh, replacing that 3116 would have been way more expensive than that. I, I wasn't happy with it. I didn't like it. Uh, and, uh, I, you know, my driver sort of wanted a, a automatic. And, you know, I, I, I understand that. I mean, you know, after years of driving, your, your left knee starts giving a lot of trouble. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't mind doing it for him. He likes to... Uh, he likes to keep the truck nice and uh you know it's his truck basically he keeps it at his place and and keeps it up and then uh you know when we got a call we call him but uh he just finished hauling that burnt truck there it's a 2015 toyota but uh that's why the bed the bed's dirty he usually keeps it nice and clean but uh it's been a real good truck you know i personally i wouldn't re recommend a 3116 i really don't care for him uh, had some actually some heating issues with it and thought it was the radiator but now I know it wasn't the radiator because this is the same radiator and uh, you know it, it don't give any trouble with the uh, with the four or the 466 and uh, and like I said I'm gonna put some pictures of this I know I've had a couple people ask me uh, ask me about it before when I had it posted on a, on a website just some pictures and uh, there were some people that was wanting to do this change and and uh, and I can definitely understand why because I, you know I'm just not a I'm not a caterpillar person not a small caterpillar anyway so uh, you know this truck here we've had for years and and it's earned its keep for sure uh, no doubt about it and uh, it's actually the only the only truck we have that's not international except we do have one Peter built but uh, you know I like my internationals and you know so we throwed an international engine in this one and and solved the problem and uh you know like i said it's a it's a good truck it's just you know it's what my driver likes so that's what he uh that's what he gets and uh so we we throw him in an international for a little bit until we can get some work done on this i gotta put some tires on it and you know just do some upkeep and maintenance that we've been needing to do and uh and of course get her back on the road but but if you, you know, are watching this and this is your plans is to change one over, you know, uh, get a hold of me, let me know. I'll be more glad to help any way I can, you know, on, on what we had to do. I'll show you the floor. You can see right here, there's just a little bit humped out here and it still clears the gas pedal. Uh, you know, it, that's the only fabrication, you know, on the floor we had to do was just on that corner right there. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to leave the original rubber so, you know, it don't look perfect or anything, but, you know, it, it does a good job for what it is. And, uh, like I said, it's been 120,000 miles since he, since we put it in and we really have done nothing to it. So, uh, can't really complain about it. Anyway, appreciate you watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, I hope. Uh, just watch for more. We've got more coming. Bye.